Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I am Disha Rustogi, an enterprise architect. Today we are going to talk about the most important topics covered for Adobe Real Time Customer Data Platform exam, uh, the expert exam, which is ADO AC605. Now this exam was recently launched in January with a revised syllabus. Earlier we had two exams for the expert certification but now we have one we are going to talk about the type of questions asked the difficulty level tips for racing the exam so do watch the video till the end or you may miss out on something important if you are into digital analytics or customer data platform this is the channel for you where i'll be sharing content on these topics so do subscribe like and share the videos that will let me know if the content is engageful as well as helpful to you let's get started so yeah now we'll talk about the key steps that you need to follow right so the first starting point is to go through the entire documentation right for this particular uh, platform so what are destinations what are sources merge policy whatever all the topics that are coming under the exam uh, you know with within the platform right schemas data sets go through all the documentation for this that is available in adobe right the second is do hands-on all right the third is exam guide so exam guide is a way to you know try to understand what are the topics what are the type of uh, you know questions that will be asked how they are going to you know uh, judge your uh, capabilities right so for example they have mentioned sources and destination sdk right in the exam guide so that tells you that yes you have to go through this topic right if they have mentioned merge policy that tells you that you have to go through this topic so that gives you those 10 or 15 topics that you essentially definitely need to look into right so i mean it gives you a good idea of how to structure your uh, you know uh, documentation go through that you're going to do now the next is that you should use this video to fine-tune your strategy I'm going to talk about the type of questions asked I'll give you so the exam guide mentions okay I'm going to test you on data modeling knowledge I'll give you an understanding of what kind of questions you will get on data model so that will give you a slight hint of you know how do you have to prepare yourself right so that is how you go about it so we are going to talk about the most important topics starting with schema now schema when i talk about they're going to talk about data modeling right so you will get some case studies right now for example one is you know you have loyalty data now how do you model this data right what type of class you need individual profile experience event or lookup right what are the use cases when you would use each of these different types of class then you would get questions like for example you have product category and product category right product category and product subcategory now how do you model this data do you create one table for it do you create two different tables for it what type of class do you need and so on right then you will get questions on how do you identify the primary key you have email phone number crm id right now how do you identify the primary key based on these three keys so you can get these different types of questions when do you enable profile right when do you enable a schema or a data set for profile for example if you have to use a schema for cj reporting right you don't need to enable profile but if you have to enable it for activation purposes then you need to enable profile so that's the you know kind of question then you're definitely getting a question on relationships one-on-one -on -one relationships between two schemas the next topic is data ingestion data ingestion it's batch versus streaming ingestion and workflow right so you will get the entire uh, you know you need to be thorough about this entire workflow for both the types of sources right you will get questions on troubleshooting debugging 
right so that's the kind of uh, question you will get you will get questions on you know when to use query services right for debugging purposes uh, when do you you know uh, for example you have a use case and then you need query service to create a data set so questions around this topic will come on right the answer will be that you have to use query service and create a data set so that's the idea here you will get questions on upsert functionality definitely right then you will also get questions on when do you enable partial data ingestion how do you enable it very important two questions definitely on this topic right you may get some basic question on source sdk as well right then you will get questions on best practices like experience event expiration data set deletion uh, when you're bringing in data using the adobe analytics connector how do you you know use the row and column filters uh, how do you restrict the profile data right so that's the kind of question coming on to the next topic segmentation a very favorite topic for aep exams segmentation they will ask you some general questions on like if you have to create a segment they give you a case study and then what are the condition or attribute that you need for creating the segment then you will get some questions on the different types of segment streaming batch edge what is the qualification criteria for each of these three types troubleshooting questions like you know segment count has reduced what is the probable reason for it then you will get questions on the audience import workflow right uh, you will get questions on the activation workflow so very very important topic then the next uh, you know topic that we have is edge data collection network right so edge data collection network very tricky question you will get here you know uh, so basically they will ask about how a edge profile updates versus a hub profile right you need to understand that process and the next question would be around the use cases for edge data ingestion right so that's about it talking about the next topic destinations again a very favorite topic for ap exams whether it's business practitioner whether it's expert segmentation and destinations are two favorite topics right so when i talk about destinations configuration and activation workflow you should be thorough with it right then destination identifiers if you haven't activated segments to destinations you won't be able to answer questions around these very blank you know very brutal so basically you should do pocs if you are not using it but at least pick up the most popular ones like facebook linkedin google and do a poc around it they will ask questions around destination identifiers for example facebook accepts email sha256 lower case google customer match accepts e164 format for phone numbers you need to understand these uh, nuances for answering the questions on destination identifiers then you need to understand the limitations like segment membership object you can't export a segment membership object by you know selecting in the drop down you have to manually type in the value for this uh, when you are you know doing the attribute mapping for destinations so that's around it you should know about the apply transformation feature right then a very favorite topic under destinations is how personalization destinations integrate with the aep platform now for this i will suggest do a poc on integrating adobe target with adobe experience platform i have some videos on this on my channel go through them if you do a poc go through the videos i'm sure you will be able to crack questions on this topic okay so then you will get some basic question on destination sdk as well so yeah that's basically the questions that you are going to get around this topic now data governance now data governance they will ask you the type of labels the specifics around it 
what is the label for directly identifiable data, right? So those are the kind of questions you can get. So you have to be thorough with the different types of labels. I mean, don't not to, you know, really uh, be, uh, you know, uh, here uh, very uh, like learning like everything. But yeah, you do need to know those different type of labels that we have at a broader level and just pick up the most important ones and try to learn that, OK, this is uh, this is the label for it. This is the description for it and so on. Then one question definitely on attribute based access control. So you have to go through the documentation for it. If you can do or do a POC on it as well, but you have to do that. They will ask you questions on violations, right? Now, if a violation happens, what are the steps that you can do to remove the violation, right? You need to understand how this data governance framework works, right? What are the steps around it? How do you define a data governance policy? How do you define a consent policy? How is it applicable for the destinations, right? You need to understand these nuances, these intricacies, because the questions will be mostly case studies and they will address these aspects, right? The next topic is platform guardrails. You need to understand the hard and soft limits for different you know, topics, data ingestion, destinations, and so on. Then the next topic is merge policy. So basically the question is, you, they will validate your understanding. How would you use timestamp versus data set based merge policy, right? Then the next topic is identity graph, right? So identity graph, you will get case studies for identity deletion, like which ID gets deleted first, whether it's ECID, CRM ID, and so on. So you have a lot of documentation in Adobe for this. Go through the examples that they have provided. You will understand that, and you can track the questions on this one. Then they will get give you questions on namespaces, right? So you need to understand the namespaces topic properly right they will give you questions around the types custom namespace which namespaces contribute to identity graph like the partner id doesn't right so those kind of questions will be there you need to understand the features of identity graph right that will help you you know address the troubleshooting questions also yeah Last topic is administration. So you need to understand the alerts topic for streaming and bad sources, right? All alerts are not applicable for streaming sources. You need to understand, right? What alerts are applicable for source, uh, bad sources, what alerts are applicable for streaming sources and accordingly answer. Then you need to understand the concept of profile richness, addressable audience, what are the you know best practices, and that's how you can address the questions. So hopefully, hope I have covered all the important topics, right? Thank you. So the questions are going to be tricky, confusing options, right? So you have to be thorough with what you have read through, right? Do POCs, right? Go through this video, do the exam guide thoroughly, you know? Do not miss on any of the important topics right and yeah do subscribe like and share this video and all the best for this exam thank you